welcome to another episode of Small Talk. I'm your host, Jim Gilbert, and here in the studio, as usual, is my assistant, Natalie Grace. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you as well, Natalie. So, what do you, uh, what do you want to jump into here today? How about we do... How about do we do winter first, and then we can do fall and spring and summer? We can do it kind of like backwards. So you want to talk about the seasons? Yes. All right. So what do you want to talk about with winter? Let's talk about with snowmen and, okay. and rolling up snowballs. So how do you make a snowman? Well, I'll tell so how you make a snowman, you have to roll up a huge ball. You can mount how size you want it, but you have to make it larger. And then you take another one and, and roll it to a medium, and then take a small one for his head, and then take all the stuff that you need. Uh, what kind of stuff do you need to finish off a snowman? Well, you might need teeny tiny rocks for his eyes, and a care for your nose, and some... More tiny, teeny tiny rocks or something for his mouth or eyes. Or you can just use something for the nose. What kind of fruit? Or yeah. vegetable or something. Food. I like that the snow is cold and you can, like, make snow angels. How do you make a snow angel? Well, you have to use your whole body, but you have to use your legs to make a dress and your hands to make some wings. Well, I want to say what I'm going to say. I'm going to say what I want to say, okay? So, Thanksgiving, first we went to Max and Ben. We were pretty good. And then, after that, we went to Mingy Pika's to visit for Thanksgiving. And then the next day, we went hiking again. And we saw a cat with Mingy. So, on that Monday... Where we were sitting around the house, we, we pulled out the old Nerf blasters, and we had ourselves a good old-fashioned family smackdown. <laughs> Jeff, you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, you really got into it. You know, it was uh, a couple I, years ago. I like the Nerf guns. Well, yeah, they're fun. I mean, a couple years ago, when uh, we were playing, it was more about me running around, sneaking up on you guys and shooting you, but you've gotten older now, and you can do it yourself. So, yeah. be able to, to pump it, you can aim it. You're actually a pretty good shot, surprisingly. Yeah, I, I'm not going to hit in the face. That's right, we don't aim for the face. With the Nerf guns. That's right. And uh, who's, whose team do you want to be on? Hmm. Daddy. Yeah, that's right. And who did we, uh, who did we attack? Mommy and Jack. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good sports about it. Yeah. Of course, your brother, he... He just goes, Yeah, he was pretty <laughs> maniacal about it. He got from me. What are they doing over there? Well, I just farted! <laughs> I farted. Now it's... <laughs> High five. Now it's going to be in the podcast fart. <laughs> You're darn right I'm going to put that in the podcast. So switching to a different topic. Um, we just put up our Christmas tree here this past week. Yeah. And you put up a couple Christmas trees. We were back in Mansfield for Thanksgiving. I, so, you know, how many Christmas trees have you put up recently? I put up two. I think you put up more than two. We had, um, how many trees did you put up at Mimi's house? Two. Was it two? Yeah, I did Aunt Jen's and Mimi's. Okay, so then you so you put up this one, so that's three. And four. I did one upstairs. That's one's mine. Okay, yeah, that's one in your room. So what is it about the Christmas trees that you enjoy? Is it just the lights, the ornaments? I mean, talk me through it. I like the ornaments and the lights. I love both. You have a favorite ornament? My most favorite ornament is the carousel one that's really sparkly. It's on the tree, that one, your Christmas tree. And I wish that that one could go on my Christmas tree. <laughs> so for the past several years, we've done an annual Christmas card. And I, I want to avoid making your stereotypical Christmas card. So we try and come up with a funny concept or kind of offbeat concept. And at least the first couple of years... 
you you didn't want to cooperate like at all no <laughs> no but, but this year i'm doing it yeah no last year you did really well and um i mean you you really have a knack for it i think you're quite the little actress well, i love podcasts you like podcasts yeah i love it do you like modeling for pictures I like getting pictures taken because you have a lot of me. Yeah, I do have a lot of you. And you know why? Why? Because you cooperate and your brother doesn't. Nope. <laughs> how, many, how many Jack pictures do you have? I don't know, like five. Nah, you have more than that. I mean, that's true. But, I mean, comparatively, because you'll pose and not run off, I've got way more pictures of you. <laughs> yeah, because I cooperate because I'm taller now. Well, I don't know what that has to do with it, but sure, we'll go with that. So anyways, um, yeah, I mean, I think you, actually you and your brother did really well this year. I think Jack was able to cooperate more than he's done in the past, and I think it's a pretty funny concept. I think people are going to like it when it comes out. When Jack, when Jack, a train station, it smelled really weird. Like, what's that smell? Raw sewage. Raw sewage? Yeah, but, I mean, we were able to get the pictures. Those are actually Jack's birthday pictures from this year. I think yep. they turned out really well. And so good. Go. Have we watched any Christmas movies lately? We watched that. Yes, we watched the elf one and the one we stick the tongue in the pool. <laughs> it's a Christmas story. It's a classic. He wanted an official Red Rider carbine action, 200 shot, range model, air rifle, with a compass in the stock. <laughs> yeah, he wanted a gun. Actually, here's an interesting fact. Did you know the little boy who plays Ralphie in A Christmas Story is one of the elves in Elf? Close enough. <laughs> All right, so I guess uh, last topic here, Christmas wish list. What's on your Christmas wish list for this year? Mm. What do you think Mommy and Daddy are going to get you? Uh, I know that I'm getting Minnie Mouse for Christmas because I picked it out. Yeah, at... you picked that one out. Mm. Anything else? I already know what I'm going to get for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't tell people that. They're going to think we're terrible parents. The I'm going to keep it a secret, but I'm just going to tell Daddy, okay? Okay. Don't tell anybody else. All right, I won't tell anybody else. Keep it a secret until Christmas. Okay. I just want to tell you. Okay. Tell me. <laughs> tell you, me what? You know, you know, you know why I like Christmas? Why do you like Christmas? Because Christmas trees are up and I like to get presents just like birthdays. Right, that's what we're talking about, your presents. So what do you think you're getting for Christmas? What? Shoes. You're getting shoes? Uh, what kind of shoes? Um. How about some socks? You want some socks? I'll tell you what socks I want. What? Butterfly socks. Butterfly socks? Don't you have a bunch of crazy socks already? I don't, I don't have butterfly socks. I'm pretty sure you have some kind of crazy looking socks. <laughs> and I want pink and purple sparkly shoes, just like my blue and green ones. And gold and silver, but I already have gold and silver, so I won't worry about that. Well, if there's anybody who's going to be getting you crazy stuff, it's probably your Aunt Jen. <laughs> she got me those blue and green shoes. I'm going to tell you something. What? When, when we were going to Mansfield for um, Thanksgiving, I was like, Aunt Jen got me these shoes, so I'm going to take them. And, I, and Aunt Jen was like, good job. Yeah? i right. Yeah. She was like that. Yeah, your Aunt Jen's pretty cool. She gets you all the good stuff. Say good night, Natalie. <laughs> good night. I'm so excited about Christmas Eve coming. Me too. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening. Bye.